So I was uh, just recording some b-roll for the Mac Studio and the M1 Ultra chip and you know I was thinking about the coders and GPUs and Apple's got loads of these encoders in there and then I thought wait a second maybe Apple is onto something. There's something that I haven't seen really talked about before like we talk about graphics cards Intel is going to come out with the Arc in a moment and the rumors are out there and so on. I haven't heard anything by the way if you expect me to spill some secret beans I don't have it. Intel has a very interesting opportunity here to make a very, very interesting and good GPU for the creators. So here's my few thoughts. So as a creator, what we want is like a lot of graphics processing power, you know, the CUDA cores and just something that can render our big scenes, whether it's 3D or whether we're working with a lot of color grade and it's like actually accelerated on the RTX 3090s or something like that. We want a lot of v, VRAM and so on. But also another thing that we as video editors really, really like or want is good encoders and decoders, which Apple has made a very big deal about this M1 Studio or M1 Ultra, you know, kind of chip because there's double the amount of encoders in there. There's like ProRes encoders, there's H.264, H.265 encoders in there. I'm not sure even if Red Raw encoders in there, which is just absolutely amazing. And if we circle back a little bit more, do you remember Apple released the Afterburner card for the Mac Pro? So basically you can buy a separate card for your Mac Pro that just kind of encodes and decodes and just works with red footage. Obviously most of the world doesn't care about that but me as a video editor thinking do you know what that is absolutely amazing. Now imagine if Intel would add also their encoders from the UHC 770 that's the iGPU inside their 12th gen CPUs. If they took those encoders from the iGPU and then just add them a few extra inside the GPU for the Arc desktop GPU, that would be amazing. I mean, then we would get really good H.264 and a 5 encoding. Hopefully, you know, they'll add a few more extra encoders. And then why don't add ProRes? You know, let's work with Blackmagic. Add Blackmagic Raw as well. Okay, Blackmagic Raw is just so easy to work with anyway. We don't need that. But imagine if there was Canon Raw, possibly. That would be awesome. Red Raw, ProRes. Imagine if we on Windows would get ProRes hardware acceleration from the graphics card. That would be absolutely amazing. And I think we could do that. Now, we also need the graphics processing power, which I think Intel's really going to be doing because they want to be there with the RTX 3070s, 80s and 90s and so on. Imagine if there was a PCIe expansion slot card that possibly Intel could do because their actual UHD uh, 770 encoders inside there, the media engines are better than NVENC at the moment because they support more codecs in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve than the NVENC. I've made too many videos about this. I'm not going to go more in depth about that. But imagine if there was a PCIe card that could just encode or decode the footage that we're working with. Let's say people, some people might not need that, but if you wanted to, I would be spending a lot of good money to get an extra encoder in there. And I could swap it up later on in the future when, you know, a new encoders come out. And we know this is possible because even if the graphics power comes from the, you know, graphics card PCIe X16 slot, it comes from there. So we know that this can work. It's also in the iGPU. It can work on the iGPU. And then also it can work separately. So it is possible because the Apple Afterburner card, that's like a Xeon platform, right? I know it's Mac OS and blah, blah, blah. But it still worked with PCIe lanes and so on because it was the x86 architecture. And PCIe lanes go to that Afterburner card, sends the footage there, and then, you know, talks back to the CPU you and and so on so it is possible to get a uh, just pci expansion card that is just meant for video decoding and encoding come on why has no one thought about this before can we make this apple thing happen because that would be absolutely amazing game changer for windows video editors that's gonna put some real big sticks in the cogs of apple's machine does that make sense anyway that would be big trouble for Apple because Apple's been very clever 
they have made something that no one's ever made before, right? That's that's a very clever marketing thing, a very clever pricing thing, because you can charge whatever for this if there's nothing else like this on the market. Like this Mac Studio, it's absolutely amazing because there's nothing like that on the market. But just have a look at my video comparisons, like with the video editing in DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, then I can see where this really falls short in some of the video editing, especially when working with noise reduction and so on in DaVinci Resolve. But when you take that that off the encoders there's nothing like that it's just so buttery buttery smooth and those encoders imagine if we could get that on windows having a windows pc for your you know video editing it would be just amazing i, I would just love to love to get that why don't we guys come on let me know in the comment section below hit that like button and then underneath there said i want a dedicated video encoder no this this is what you're gonna write write down i want a media engine dedicated PCIe expansion card, right? So basically PCIe slot, you know, X8 slot, that'll do because I don't think there's that much bandwidth gonna go through. Probably X, you know, 4 even would work. Maybe it's gonna be just a small little M.2 card that's gonna go into your M.2 storage that just encodes footage because those encoders are gonna be so small. Anyway, if you have to make it bigger, just make it bigger, I don't care. You know, imagine if it's the size of like the, one of the M.2 expander cards that Asus or other companies make something like that you slot it in your pc get a driver from intel or something like that intel support assistant poof, update this suddenly you have these killer encoders for adobe and then surely adobe can make use of that because if it's the same drivers and so on it might actually work because you watch the you know 770 igp or quick sync it would go through that as well and why i'm betting on intel on this and not amd is just because of their quick sync history now, I would absolutely love if NVIDIA or AMD would do that as well. Honestly, I don't mind who's going to make it. If they're going to make it, I would buy it, like, no problem. Just because it would absolutely change my, like, video editing experience on PC. But I think Intel has the biggest edge on there just because they already have the quick syncing works with Adobe Premiere Pro, for example, and, you know, a lot of Adobe products and so on. Uh, also it works on you know DaVinci Resolve very very well so I think their drivers and things would work much better than what we've previously experienced with you know AMD drivers for example but Nvidia could make it as well but I think they're more really focused on the graphics processing thing they did make a little deal about the NVIDIA encoders but now suddenly they do need an update just because you know they don't support as many codecs so anyway, that's just a little rant that I wanted to make about graphics cards, Intel Arc, what could be awesome for video editors especially. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Anyway, it was just like a crazy thought that I haven't seen anybody else talk about, think about before. But then I saw that Apple has already done it and I'm like, why haven't we made this for Windows? Like, surely just Windows isn't the bottleneck of this system. Someone just needs to let me make it, make some drivers, encoders. I know I'm making it so easy some i don't know a group of people will be working this for years until this comes out but hey can we make this happen this would be absolutely awesome let me know what you think in the comment section below thanks guys for watching bye bye